Hello, and welcome to Sassy Scrapbooking. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the new features available to you with the new updated Cricut Print Then Cut software. As you're probably aware, with the new software update, you can now choose one of the Cricut printable images to print then cut. What I recently discovered is that you can also print then cut images that you have downloaded from your image library or from the internet. In this example, I am choosing the basic upload since my first image is a ping portable network graphic image file. Once I have selected the image, I am choosing the complex images button and then continuing to step two. Since this is a clean ping image file and I don't have to make any adjustments, I am going to go ahead and continue on to step three. I'm going to give the image a name and a tag before saving my image. I can now choose to insert my image, but before I do, I want to note that my image is in full color. Or the images to the right of my current image are other ping images that I had previously uploaded prior to the software, and they are in black, not in color. Once my image has been uploaded, notice that the printer icon is showing in the layers box. This is telling me that I will be able to print before I cut. I'm just going to go ahead and resize my image 6 inches in width and then hit go. In the preview matte screen, I can see that this image will print and then cut. Selecting the Print and Continue button, my printer information pops up. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Print. Note that there is a Reprint page icon on the Cricut Design Space screen after my image is printed. So if you need to reprint your image for whatever reason, you, you do have this option. After I have loaded the printed image to my cutting mat, the Cricut Export scans the registration marks before cutting the image. Then removing the cut images from the cutting mat, I have a great printed and cut image to use on a project. The next image I'm going to print and then cut is a, it's a GIF file. Once again I'm going to choose complex images. This image is also very clean so no adjustments are needed. I am going to give my image a name and a tag before saving the image. Next I select my image, also in color, then click on insert images. Again I'm going to resize my image. If you are using the Cricut printable images and choose to unflatten the image the Cricut Design Space will break the image into multiple printing and cutting images so that you can layer them with the ping, the GIF, and the JPEG images. The unflatten option does not work. Let's send the image to print and then cut. Last but not least, I am now choosing a JPEG image. Once again, I am choosing the Complex Images option. The difference with the JPEG file image is that they usually have a background that will need to be removed. Any background that is left will not be cut away from the image. Here I rotated the image to see if the software would allow me to print a larger image, but with the Cricut Design Space, the width measurement is still taken from the image width no matter if you rotate the image or not. But I was able to resize my image to 7 inches in width. Again, another great print and cut image. I went ahead and used my print and cut images just to give an example of how they could be used. At this point, I would like to take a moment and thank you for watching my video at Sassy Scrapbooking. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos.
I will continue to add new videos as my adventures with the Cricut Explorer continue. Bye for now.